I just got done working out because my little sister Erica has now inspired me to be all I can be. Um, this video is about Erica and um, her part in the revolution. And she has inspired me more than you know. I can remember when we were little and we used to run around the house pretending and playing games. Um, I remember she had an imagination that was beyond any other imagination I can possibly think of. She could make something up out of nothing. She was a dreamer. She always had um, things going on in her head. It was like her wheels were always turning and she was always had something going on. Um, she we would play house and we would play out in the field behind our um, old house and we would play in the shed and um, we would play in the monkey bars forever going back and forth and back and forth and she was just such an active fun kid um, never let anybody um, get in her way she never turned anybody down from being her friend she was friends with everybody she loved everybody as they were and um, never judged or saw them differently. She saw them all the same with such a big heart and um, was just so open to everyone. And um, it seemed like around the time middle school came about when um, kids were um, really mean and girls just got even meaner that um, Erica was in her growth spurt where, you know, some kids, and I see it in my own daughter, some kids, they go, they get, they get a little bit stout and then they grow tall and stout and then grow tall. And in sixth grade, when she entered middle school, she was in more of a, not even chubby, but she was going in her stout where she um, was always, um, would be eating or um, whatever. And then she would grow tall, and um, sixth grade is not easy. And she was being made fun of, and um, she, uh, it's almost like she held on to that um, memory where she um, never let those words go, where she would be, um, where they said that she was chubby or whatever, and she held on to those. And um, it was like that mind that was always going now, um, was always going about her weight and then all she could think about was food and I remember you know when we were eating you know four piece chicken nuggets Erica wanted a Whopper and I think it was something that she was uh, born with something that was in her and I'm not saying that she was any different than anybody else I think that you gotta be quiet I think that she it was something that was in her and then from then on, she continued to struggle with it, going fluctuating back and forth. She was never a heavy child, never anything. But I just remember her, sen her um, sense of worth went down. And she, Mom. hold on, babe, I'm talking about Erica, okay? And, um, and I remember, I think one of my <coughs> biggest frustrations was <clears throat> as the four of us would be together and the three, me and Lexi and Tessa, would be walking, we would be walking together. And then Erica would always lag behind and she would be scuffing her feet and always saying, oh, I can't keep up, I can't keep up. And I had such a frustration because I so desperately wanted to help her. I, I just wanted, you know, to make it go away where she wouldn't feel that pain, where she wouldn't feel like she wasn't worth it. And, okay, Sayla, I'm talking. Hold on one second, okay? Um, and, uh, and I would be like, come on, Erica, let's go, you know, to stop scuffing your feet. And I know she would get frustrated with me, and we've had this ongoing thing where I just have, I think, seen more of what her worth than she has even seen. And, um, and my, my hope is that, that in this transformation that she's made over this next, this last six months, and even over this last year, that, um, that it's a transformation for the rest of her life. And that, that the inspiration that she's been to all of the people around this community and all the people 
in her life and the things that she's, um, what about, I'm talking to the camera, can you say hi? Um, that she will um, be able to um, be an inspiration to the world, uh, that she was just a normal girl, had struggles as normal people do, and that now she's ready to make something of herself, and she's ready to change, and she's ready to say, you know what, I'm not what those kids said in middle school. I'm not what people have told me. I am my own person. I, I am worth everything. I'm worth just as what my sisters are worth. I'm worth more than that. And I just believe that this transformation that she's made, that she's ready to be on the revolution and to be a part of the revolution.